back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff out the Madden cheese as always. Got another offensive series for you guys today. Today, I'm working out of the Raiders playbook. I'm using the Eagles team because this playbook's also in the Eagles, uh, which is pretty much the playbook that I started out the year with. And I fell in love with the wing flex scheme, which is a scheme that I put out uh, pretty early into Madden 20. Uh, but I find it might be even a little bit more broken this year. They didn't. They definitely didn't go as far as to patch this formation. Uh, it was pretty pretty broken last year. And I find that's even better now because of the way that Madden 21 reacts. So I'm going to show a couple of pass plays, a couple of run plays. Before I get started though, do me a favor, scroll down a little bit, hit the like button. It takes two seconds and it helps this channel out immensely. So if you could do that for me, I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you enjoy anything you see on this video today, make sure to hit the subscribe button and stick around. Other than that, let's go ahead and let's get right into this video. I'm going to start off with my favorite play, the four verticals. Now, I love the Eagles in Madden this year. They added so much speed with Marcus Goodwin and uh, Deshaun Jackson, Jalen Rager. So make sure you got your speed guys out there. This is the perfect team for this. They also have two really strong tight ends. So uh, this is the perfect personnel. So like I said, got my speed in the right place. We're just going to go ahead and go back. We're going to pick the four verticals. So we're starting off here with a cover two defense. It's one of the things I like about this play is you can home run just about any defense, which makes this play perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and put the B and the A route on a streak just about every time, at least when it's a zone coverage. Then I really have my choice. This formation will work whether I motion out the, the tight end side or the receiver side. Uh, I still find it's going to always be best to motion out the receiver. But if you want to try to mix up your opponent, you can motion out either side and this play will still have success. I also find it's best to motion snap the receiver. Motion snapping is really good this year. You get a really good speed boost. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to snap when before Deshaun Jackson gets set. You can see right off the bat here, I get some pressure. But you can see how that beats outside now i didn't quite get going you can get going on a play like this this is definitely a play that you can uh, you can hit some home runs against. So, like I said, I mean, against cover two, I don't technically have to do any adjustments against cover two because you can see how those those uh, the B and the A route are pulling the safeties towards the center. That's perfect. So, like I said, get a little bit of a better motion snap. Like I was a little bit late on the motion snap last time. You can see how that safety gets pulled in, and boom, we're hitting a home run. So, this play, I showed you the adjustment, but that was also because it also works that way against cover three. So against cover two, you don't really have to make any adjustment. I don't even have to motion him out, to be honest with you. I mean, this is such a good cover two play. All I have to really do is wait for him to get past that receiver. You can see how the pass lead the most important part of this. So like I said, if, you, if you're getting pressure, you can go ahead. You can block one of these guys. I just, I feel like ultimately I'm going to need somebody to pull Deshaun's uh, cornerback down in the cover two. So like I said, somebody dragging. I mean, even with the, all that blocking, you can see Dem uh, Demarcus Lawrence is always such a problem. He's still coming off the edge, even with the additional blocking. But like like I said, I mean, this is a play. It gets open fast enough that it really doesn't matter. Uh, if I mean, like right there, you just see, I just kind of rolled away from it. And ultimately, this is a play that's going to beat most coverages pretty fast. So let's go and let's move on to a cover three. Now I'm going against cover three. And you're going to see how last year, the, the B route was really the route here. That would get up the seam. Now, they, this doesn't really cover the same way. You're going to see how it's the outside route again. So now we have uh, the underneath route on cover three. Uh, I had Lawrence chase me again. Let's go and let's move the ball over because where I'm running the ball, where I run the play from is going to matter. So against cover three, this is a little bit different. You don't have to have the running back block or, or running that route anymore. That's a decent outlet, but it's not important. Uh, and also where you run the play is going to matter. So now I'm running to the open side of the field. It's going to change which receiver gets open. If I'm more towards the middle, the X route's going to get open like it was. And if I'm more toward the side like this, uh, the B route's going to get open. So doing the exact same adjustments with the streaks. Now I can move this safety over further if I motion out this tight end. So this is a scenario where you're going to want to motion out the tight end. It doesn't really matter. You can do the X route as well. I'll do that next. Uh, but but ultimately, this is something that I find will keep that cover three safety really out of the play. And then you can see how I can just pass lead away and he's got no opportunity to catch up. Because that's really what you want. You just want pre-snap space in here. So one more time, motion now, Goddard. Like I said, we're looking for that cover three. I don't even find this is my best way to do it. I really find the other way is the better way to do it. It's just a little bit safer. But you can see, like I said, we're getting touchdowns. That's the bottom line. We're getting home run touchdowns. We really get to pick our poison, which one we want it to be. When it comes to Madden 21, I really feel like man coverage is much improved and might be one of the better defenses in the game. So this is ultimately going to be even more valuable considering it can also beat uh, man coverages for one play touchdowns. Uh, if you have a cover one man, which is the look that I'm in now, uh, the X route here is going 
going to be the are going to be the read. So motion snapping him again. All I really have to do is wait till he gets up the up the sideline there, and you can see I can just drop that in the bucket, and I can make a really big play. So this play can be very explosive against man cover one because of the wheel routes, but it's also a really good play against cover two. Now the only uh, thing that I would change is I put Ertz here on a uh, on a drag, uh, but then once again I'm just going to do the same motion snap, uh, let the B route get right up the center. Uh, as you can see right here, I mean, he's going to have uh, a lot of success, and uh, we get a touchdown right over the top. So you can see how this is going to work against either man one or cover two. So as far as this play is concerned, um, I mean, you can motion out either one of these receivers, but this one's really going to be the best one. And the motion snapping is not necessarily something you have to do either. Uh, I find that, like I said, I just want to make sure that Ertz isn't really getting in the way of the B route. So I'm going to do something with him, either pass block him or, you know, you, you have a couple different options there. But you can see how easily this is going to one play cover two, which is not a defense that typically gets one play touchdown. So really easy read. If it's a cover two man, you're going to hit the B route. If it's a cover one or a cover zero, you're going to hit the X route. Now this formation also has a lot of really good run plays. That's the reason I'm using the Raiders playbook instead of the Eagles, which is the playbook that I'm typically using, uh, is because it has some run plays that the Eagles playbook doesn't have, like the halfback stretch, uh, the jet sweep it does have, the halfback zone week it does have. I personally, I really like the halfback zone week. I find you really get a good, um, a consistent run block out of that. Uh, you can find, you know, inside runs to me are just more consistent than outside runs this year. Uh, but that could always change. I mean, the game's pretty much early on. Um, something like the, the jet sweep, I would only really use the jet sweep in scenarios where the cornerbacks are, are, are either in man or pulled in tight. Um, but, you know, like I said, I mean, the stretches are still really good. Here's a scenario where I feel like I could maybe uh, make something out of that to the short side. I feel like this formation, you can really go to the left or the right. That's what I like about it. Uh, I don't find that there's anything, uh, you know, better than the other. Here we got a cover three looks. I think the, a good opportunity for the jet sweep. We're going to run that one time. Uh, like I said, we're just as, I mean, when you go with these jet sweeps, you're going to get the ball to your fastest player on the field nine times out of ten. It's a good play. And then, like I said, you also have your halfback stretch. It's very similar. You just don't have, um, you know, no pulling blockers. So stretch plays, in my opinion, stretch plays aren't as good as they were in last year's Madden, but they're still really solid. You can see right there, I should have probably just took it outside a little bit. So that's it. That's the video. I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. Uh, if you guys want to see more stuff out of the Raiders or Eagles, let me know in the comments section. Hit the like button. I'll do that next. Other than that, thanks for watching. Animal shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.